In this lecture, we will learn about mono and stereo channels. It is possible to convert between mono and stereo channels. At the beginning of this course, I advised you to record your voice in mono. You should record your voice in mono and use it in mono unless you have a specific reason to use stereo. Not all microphone has stereo channel support. I have my audio interface set as the recording device, so I see two channel options. If I switch to another microphone, you will see I am getting only the mono option. Please remember, for voice over mono is OK and should be used by default. The recording you see on the screen is a mono recording. You see that in the track information panel. You can convert this mono recording to stereo easily. Select the whole track and duplicate. Now I have two copies of the same mono track. Right click on the information panel of the upper track. Select make stereo track. It is now stereo track as you see two waveforms in one track. The track information panel also shows it as a stereo. If I drag the waveform from the upper region, both the waveforms move. Because it is one stereo track. Converting a stereo track to a mono track is also very easy. Right click on the track information panel and choose split stereo to mono. The stereo track is now split into two mono tracks. I can now drag the tracks individually. If you convert a stereo track to a mono track, you do not need both the mono tracks. Cross out one of the tracks. I will make a stereo track from this mono track again to show an interesting feature. It is now stereo track again. Last time I chose split stereo to mono, but this time I will choose split stereo track. It will create two tracks, but it will be panned on the left and right sides. The top one is panned 100% to the left. The track information panel also shows left. The bottom one is panned 100% right. If you want to add special effects on the left and right sides of the headphones, you can do it this way. It is possible to add different effects on these tracks as they are separate tracks at this point. If I play this, it will look like a normal recording. What I see is a pretty good subtitle for voiceover. I will now move the bottom track a bit right. You will listen to an echo but on the right side of the headphones. What I see is a what pretty, pretty good subtitle for voiceover recording and editing. Recording and editing. If you can get if you good can get recording, good nice recording, recording. Nice then. If you are using a headphone, you will better understand what is happening. It is two separate tracks at this point. You can make this a stereo track, and thus you will get a single audio file while exporting. What I see is a what pretty, pretty good subtitle for voiceover recording, recording and editing. If you can get, if you good, can recording, get recording, good recording, good nice recording. recording. If you are a voiceover artist, you sometimes may ask to deliver a stereo recording. Now you know how to do it.